I am running the latest version of macOS Monterey that will be released in late 2021. And to get started with Laravel Sale, we need to install Docker Desktop. Luckily, this is the only thing we need to install. So here on the website, you can choose between the Intel version of Docker and a version for Apple Silicon. This Mac still has an Intel chip, so let's download the Intel version. I will allow Safari to download the installer and let's give it a few seconds to finish. All right, let's open the disk image and then we can drag and drop the Docker application into our applications folder. We can open the applications folder, search for Docker, here it is, and let's open it. The first time we open it, we need to confirm it. So let's click on open and then Docker need to install some additional components. I will click on okay and then it needs my password. We need to accept the terms, which I will do. Let's close the application folder and the Docker mount. And now the engine is starting. To see if everything works, we can use this getting started container. And we can copy this command to the clipboard with this little icon. So in the terminal, let's paste this command and hit enter. Now it will download the image from the Docker repository. It pulls all the images and then starts the container. If we go back to the Docker desktop application, you can see our new container that's been started on port 80, the default HTTP port. So let's open Safari, create a new tab and go to localhost. And here we can see that getting started container up and running on localhost. Now let's go back to the Docker desktop application. And here we can stop and delete it to make room for our Laravel container. For the next step, I will go back to the Laravel documentation to create a new Laravel project. In the documentation, you can find this command that we can copy and paste into the terminal. This will create a new Laravel project called example app. So let's copy it and let's go to the terminal. And in my home directory, I will create a code directory that's gonna hold all of my projects. So let's cd into that code directory, paste the command and hit enter. This command uses Docker to create a new Laravel project. You don't have to worry too much about it, but it's downloaded PHP and now it's using Composer to download all the requirements. It's setting up your application and now it says, application ready, build something amazing. It's asking for my password one more time to set some permissions. So I will do that. And then we are ready to go. Here it gives the command to dive right in and to get started. But first I want to see what's in that new folder. So let's cd into our example app folder. And here we can see a fresh Laravel 8 application. Now to interact with Laravel sale, there is a CLI or a command line interface. So let's type in vendor bin sale and then we get started with up. The first time we'll do this, it will download all the required images to run your app. So it will download MySQL, PHP, a web server, you name it. And by the way, let's get rid of this notification. So it downloads all the images, it builds them, and then it also updates them. So this will just take some time and then you will see all these log messages pop up. These are the messages from all the different Docker containers. So now that everything has been started, let's go back to Safari, open a new tab and go to localhost. And here you can see our fresh Laravel 8 application up and running with Laravel sale with Docker. So what if we want to interact with our application in the terminal with the Laravel CLI tool called Artisan? Within our application folder, we can use vendor bin sale artisan. And here you can see a list of all the commands within our application. Now, I don't want to type that vendor bin sale every time I need to interact with sale, but luckily we can create an alias for that. So within the Laravel sale documentation, which we can find right here, there is a section to configure that alias. Here it is. Let's copy it to our clipboard and let's go back to the terminal. And then in the terminal, I will use nano to open this file in my home directory called 
.setshellrc. In this file, I'm going to paste that command from documentation and let's save it and exit nano. And then from now on, if we open a new tab, we can just use sale artisan instead of vendor bin sale artisan. So that's a nice little time saver.